Oh, I probably got a, uh, a longer memory than, uh, than most people. Uh, I think, uh, so I know he's quite capable of playing that position. He's played 40 plus tests, but he's played a, a whole bunch of those in the, in the, uh, the 10 position. Um, you also know that I'm not so obsessed about the number. I, I firmly believe, you know, his performances with the Waratahs, he's been in a playmaking role there. Uh, obviously, uh, Bernard's been wearing the 10 jersey, but currently has been playing there, you know, in a, in a role, they're playing, making role, and done a really good job. So, this is not about saying we're unhappy with Vernon. I think that uh, Kirtley's played really well. Uh, no, not really. I think um, all I was thinking of was just trying to, um, you know, prepare right um, and you know get down with with all the knowledge that I that I had to um, you know take in and um, you know and just fit into the group. Obviously, uh, yeah not being a part of it you it's um you know you kind of feel a little bit left out so getting around to the boys knowing the structures um you know building those relationships so you know when i do get the opportunity i'll be able to go out there without a worry so yeah. no disappointed i mean it's, it's, not, it's one of the worst parts of the job is delivering uh, selection news and it's easy telling guys they're in but telling the guys that are out and um Ryan well, Freddie knew that we were going to have a few, you know, we wouldn't be able to fit everyone into the team, and that's a, that's a good problem for Australian rugby, but it's not such a good problem for the coach in terms of delivering the messages. But um, I don't get, you know, you don't expect them to be uh, liking that situation. That they understand, you explain it, and um, but he's still got a role to play. Um, effectively, we've reversed the roles. Curly was finishing the games for us against France, and, and he was starting. We've just reversed the roles. Last time we played with Whitey was the Australian under 20s. Uh, it's a while back, but yeah, like I said before, you know, I think um, since coming into the squad, I think it was important for me to try to get a good understanding of the players around me, and you know, building, uh, you know, a, a good a good understanding with uh, the halves was was a part of that, and you know, I've got uh, some really good players in and around me, so you know, I think my key role is to try and uh, you know try and give them the ball as much as I can and you know, try and direct the play. So obviously it's going to be important for me and Nick to, to uh, combine well and I think you know we're, we've got a really good understanding so far so you know, hopefully we can uh, you know, take it to them. Um, one thing for sure, I, just, I know I like to get my hands on the ball. So I mean, um, you know, at, at the moment, um, you know, I really enjoy playing at that first receiver role but you know, at the end of the year, at coming towards the back end of the season with the Waratahs, I really enjoyed playing outside Bernard. But I think at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who's in those uh, uh, them inside roles. I think um, you know, if the players have a really good understanding of each other and um, you know, in what they want to do out there on the field, um, and uh, a really good understanding of what what the team needs in, in direction and in directing the play, then, like Link said, I, I don't think the number really matters at the end, at the end of the day. Uh, yeah, it's been interesting, you know, I guess I started the whole uh, first half of the year for the Brumbies and then sort of fell into that bench role uh, to the back end of the year, feeling mostly back three positions, so I feel very comfortable on the wing and um, just spent a lot of time there in the past, so obviously hugely excited about the opportunity and it was a really nice surprise to find out I was going to be starting and um, as I said, yeah, just, just can't wait to, to experience the game. Yeah, absolutely, it's uh, <clears throat> like I said before, a number of times, 13s where where I certainly feel most comfortable and prefer to play. Um, and off the back of the year I had with the Waratahs, I really enjoyed my football and you know, really happy to be with, there playing against the All Blacks. And obviously with the guys inside me, that can create you know, a, lot of, a lot of opportunities in terms of ball playing. It's, uh, you know, it's a great result for myself. I think there's a real, there's a real buzz um, in Australian rugby at the moment. Um, it's off the back of the success that the, the Wallabies had last year and this year against the French. Obviously the Waratahs and the other Super 15 provinces doing quite well in regards to form. Um, it's just there's a slight buzz and the guys are really excited about it. I think, like personally, I've been in many New Zealand campaigns, un unsuccessful campaigns, and we're just desperate to, to raise that Bledisloe Cup, get our hands on that cup, like myself, Link and, and the other boys. Um, so you can see that, you get a general feel that uh, there's huge ambition amongst every player in the squad.